What's up friends, card collectors, card obvious here. Today I got a few things going on. I'm going to go over uh, all the cards that I got in September that are going to be going into my binder. And a couple other things. I got a pack rip, so I have something to add to the giveaway stash tomorrow. And um, I got a break announcement. So let's go ahead and get into it and we'll just do that as it comes along. So bear with me. Um, so we're just going to go over all the cards I'm going to be adding to my binders. All these cards I got in September. So I'm just going to go through them one by one. I'm not going to spend too much time on them. I'm just going to kind of show them off. It's something a little bit different than I usually do on the channel. So here we got a 1977 Don Sutton. This card's not in the greatest condition, but it's in a perfect condition for my binder. Of course, 77 Don Sutton. And then we got a 78 Earl Weaver manager card. Pretty cool. There's the back. We also got another manager card here. 78 Sparky Anderson. Focus camera, come on, help me out here. Camera doesn't want to cooperate right now. All right, then we got a 1979 Reggie Jackson. 1979 Reggie Jackson. Fine camera, I'll do it myself. You can see the back there. Then we got some 1980s cards here. Pete Rose, highlights. Mike Schmidt. And Gaylord Perry. All Hall of Famers. We got an 81 uh, Fleer, Tommy Lasorda. And then we got an 84 Tops Don Sutton. Got quite a few Don Sutton here. Uh, this is 85 Fleer, Don Sutton. And then 85 Fleer update showing him in his Oakland Uni. Whereas Don Sutton wore a lot of different unis in his career. 86 Donruss Jim Rice. This card's a little beat up, but that is okay. 86 Fleer Mini Don Sutton. 86 Tops Bobby Cox when he was with the Blue Jays. 88 Donruss Diamond Kings Cal Ripken. 88 Fleer, one of my most disliked sets, Don Sutton. We got an 89 Tops, or 88 Tops, excuse me, uh, Tops Tiffany, uh, Tommy Lasorda. It's pretty cool. It's got a checklist on the back. And then we got 91 Score, 91 Score, uh, No Hit Club, uh, Nolan Ryan. This card's iconic. I remember this is good. This is the one that had the print mark on it. I realize I did not have this card in my binder, so this one's going in my binder. Uh, Dream Team card of Ken Griffey Jr. And we got 91 Tops Bobby Cox. And then um, 91 Upper Deck Hank Aaron insert card. Uh, 92 uh, Playing card Ace of Diamonds Greg Maddox. And a 92 Bobby Cox. And then we got... One, two, three, four, five Ted Williams inserts from 92 Upper Deck. All going to the binder. This is a cool card. 93 Stadium Club Ultra Pro. Barry Bonds and Willie Mays. It's a pretty cool little card there. And then we got, what is this? 94 score. 94 score. Mike Piazza Rookie of the Year card. And then we jump all the way to 98, uh, Roberto Clemente Tribute insert set. And then into the 2000s, uh, we got Early Win reprint for 2001, Bowman. Uh, 2001 Tops Combos with Johnson, Spawn, Carlton, and Koufax, all lefty Hall of Fame pitchers right there. And then we got a Through the Years reprint of Whitey Ford, 1964 design. That's also from 2001. 2003 Fleer Greats, uh, Pee Wee Reese. And then we got a 2004 Fan Favorites, uh, Whitey Ford reprint. Uh, Sporting News um, All-Star, Bobby Cox. 2005 Upper Deck Classics, Bob Lemon. Upper Deck Classics. And then 2007, uh, SP Authentic, Authentic Power, Jim Tomei. It's another pretty cool card there. And then in 2007, Topps Distinguished Service, U.S. Marines, Ted Williams. 
And then we got a 2007 Upper Deck Masterpieces, Roberto Clemente. 2008 Gaudi, Sparky Anderson. This card I found, which is uh, really nice. I love this card. It's a 2009 uh, Opeechee Black Border, but the Black Border just goes so well with this picture of Roy Halladay. Rest in peace, buddy. 2009 uh, Tops 206 Honus Wagner. We got 2009 Upper Deck Goodwin Champions Ted Williams Mini Card. I know there's other variations of these. And then we got uh, 2010 Bowman Chrome uh, Vlad Guerrero. And then 2010 Vintage Legends Collections Pee Wee Reese. And there's the back of it. That was an insert set from Tops. Two of these Top 60s. Uh, inserts Orlando Cepeda and Pee Wee Reese. I always love these insert sets. I love the typography in the background with the 60. Now it like masks the uh, the photo, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is uh, what is this called? Lost Cards. Yeah, Lost Cards from 2011 Tops. Whitey Ford. This is a pretty cool insert set. Talks about uh, why you never saw these cards before because this is 55 whitey ford whitey ford was not in the 55 set because uh litigation over rights with their competitor bowman which is funny because then tops ended up being bowman or owning bowman's roy halliday uh 2012 refractor it's kind of scratched up a bit but not too bad then we got a uh, gypsy queen, queen framed gold orlando cepeda Love these frame cards, they're really cool. We got um, 2012 Heritage Baseball Flashbacks, Willie Mays. And then we got a 2013 Top 72 Mini, Ted Williams. And a 2013 Tops Gypsy Queen, Whitey Ford. And a Billy Williams Mini from 2013 Gypsy Queen. And then we got Spring Fever, Orlando Cepeda. This is from 2013 Tops. And Spring Fever, Ted Williams. Pretty cool little cards there. Um, 2014 Stadium Club, Ted Williams. Uh, it's a cool picture, Ted Williams. Looks like he's uh, either getting in his plane or just posing on the plane. And then we got 2014 Archives, Whitey Ford. 2015 Leaf Heroes, um, Whitey Ford, Heroes of Baseball. One of my favorite cards I picked up this past month is this, uh, I think this is Stadium Club. Yeah, Stadium Club. 2015 Stadium Club, die cut, Willie Mays. Love that card. Love me some die cuts. And then we got two of these Highlight of the Year inserts, Bob Lemon and... Willie Mays, also from 2015 Tops. And then Rarities, two of these from 2015 Tops. Uh, Ted Williams and Roberto Clemente. And Tape Measure Blasts from Update. Um, Ted Williams. And then 2016 Stadium Club Ted Williams. 2016 Heritage Flashback Orlando Cepeda. Uh, 2017 Rediscover Tops Roberto Clemente. That's what the back of it looks like. It is a reprint. And then we got some 2018 Diamond Kings here. Leo DeRocher. Earl Averill. Grover Alexander. Hack Wilson. And Jim Bottomley. In closing out 2018 Diamond Kings is this Honus Wagner gray frame out of 99. Uh, 57 out of 99. Pretty cool little serial number card there. And then we got a bunch of 2018 Donruss variations. Eddie Matthews, all-star variation. Jim Palmer, black and white variation. Big Hurt. Frank Thomas variation. Joe Morgan, big red machine variation. Reggie Jackson, photo variation. Al Kaline, Kaline variation. George Brett, uh, black and white photo variation. We got Rod Carew, black and white photo variation. Kirby Puckett, all-star variation. Gwen, name variation. Uh, Nolan Ryan, name variation. The Ryan Express. 
and Chipper Jones name variation, Larry Wayne Jones. Some pretty cool pickups there from 2018 Donruss. Some Allen and Ginter here, Roberto Clemente and Honus Wagner, 2018 Allen and Ginter. And then we have uh, Tops Update, 2018 International Fair, Mariano Rivera and Roberto Clemente. And then we have some of these Hall of Fame uh, highlights. Chipper Jones, Vlad Guerrero, and a Jim Tome Blue Parallel. Those are also from 2018 Update. And another insert from 2018 Update, Storybook Endings, Ted Williams, 1960. We got some archives here. Duke Snyder, this is 2019 Archives. The Big Hurt, Frank Thomas. Really cool. I like this card, Robin Roberts, on the 93 design. Tops. Really cool. And another 93 design, Honus Wagner. And the final card that's going in the binder is 2019 Topps Chrome Greatness Returns insert with Nolan Ryan. I got a hair or something hanging off of there. And Shohei Otani. So pretty cool insert card there. Shiny. We all like the shiny, don't we? So that is the binder haul for September. So a nice stack of cards going into my binder. Second thing I was going to do is open up a pack. So got a pack of Optic Baseballs, 2018 Optic. This is the Shock Parallels uh, pack, so all these will look the same. There won't be any inserts or anything like that in here. These are all the Shock Parallels, which kind of like have wavy uh, designs on them. So hopefully you get some cool stuff in here. we got a cool one right on the front there, Kirby Puckett. Minnesota. There's one for the binder. Uh, Paul Goldschmidt, Arizona. Javier Baez, Chicago Cubs. Buster Posey. Reggie Jackson, another one for the binder. Pretty nice. Adrian Beltre, I'll hold on to that one because I believe he is a future Hall of Famer. Nobody likes this guy. An Alex Verdugo rated rookie. Shock parallel, it's pretty nice. A Walker Bueller rated rookie shock parallel. It's also very nice. And a Nolan Arenado uh, All Stars shock parallel. So that was a pretty solid parallel pack, I'd have to say. That was really good. Bueller, Verdugo, this guy, Posey, Baez, Goldschmidt, and then Beltre, uh, Mr. October, and Kirby Puckett. That was a really good shock parallel pack. Uh, these come out of the 2018 uh, Optic Mega Boxes, which is pretty cool. So now I have some stuff to throw into the giveaway stash uh, on my next video. All right, my final thing is my break announcement. So one thing I did was I actually put up a website. So let's take a look at it. Uh, there we go. Boom. So yeah, this is the website. Um, I used to blog back in the day, but like I haven't, I kind of just let it go. I got tired of writing on it and all that. So here is the blog. It's cardhobbyist.com. So I got my own domain. I'm bona fide, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, there's nothing on the blog yet. You know, the blog is just, all I got is like a little welcome post, which doesn't even say that much. But on the shop, I added the break that I'm doing. Uh, this will just make it easier for anybody that wants to get on on the break. All you got to do is go to the site and you can see the price and the name of it. It's called the bargain, the baseball bargain buster group break. It is $6. There's 15 slots and, uh, each slot will get you two teams. So you're really only paying $3 a team and it's $4 shipping. And of course you can come here and pay with PayPal. Uh, this picture here is some of the packs that are involved so this is actually 24 random packs uh, I got a little web app where we're gonna pick the packs and it seems like a, a pretty fun way to pick the packs so this has all the information here this shows all the uh, the packs that are possible to get so I think this is a pretty cool little idea and hopefully that we get it filled up and then we'll break it um, I don't have a set day to break it I'm just gonna wait for the break to fill up and then we will break it but i will put the link in the description below to this break uh i will show you the little web app thing so here's the pack picker 
And what we'll do is while we're streaming, I'll let the participants in the break uh, pick numbers and the packs will be randomly generated for the break. So let's just go through this one time and take a look at how the, the pack picking will take place. So I just click this little begin and you'll see there's a grid of 100 squares. And then I'll just go through the break and each participant will pick a number. And then we'll snake back the other way until we have 24 packs. So basically this will be like filling up a box of random packs. Kind of like a giant Fairfield um, in a way, but except for it's sealed packs instead of loose cards. So let's just pick some random numbers here. Let's see. Let's go with Dan Marino's number 13. And there you go. The first pack would be an opening day hobby pack. And then let's go with 88. And that one is a repack, one of my custom repacks. Uh, 65, we'll say uh, there's another opening day hobby. And then we'll just go around and pick a few of these. There's a Don Rush Jumbo Pack and a Chrome Retail Pack. Now, the majority of these we will be retail packs, um, mainly to keep the cost down because I like doing uh, budget breaks because my mus I myself can't afford to get in a lot of the more expensive breaks. So. I like to offer budget breaks for people that are in the same kind of financial situation that I am in. And let's just go around and pick some more packs. There's a Gallery Mega. Another opening day hobby. Another Gallery Mega. Another repack. Uh, Tops Chrome Hobby is probably one of the better packs you can get on here. Uh, Big League Hobby. Uh, Archives Retail. Another Tops Chrome Hobby Pack. Another gen, gen, John Russ, <laughs> Don Russ Jumbo Pack. Another card obvious repack. And I'm just going to go through and kick, click a few of these. Another Topps Chrome Hobby Pack. Another Topps Chrome Hobby Pack. Big League Hobby. And these will be randomized every time I load up this site. So so don't try to like memorize these. <laughs> Stadium Club Retail because they will be the same. Um, the Gallery Mega. And then once you pick the last pack, Don Russ Jumbo Pack, It'll pop up what the exact break is. And there we go. You'd have four Donruss Jumbo Packs. Three Gallery from the Mega Box and Archives Retail. Two Big League Hobbies. One Chrome Retail. One, two, three, four, five Opening Day Hobby Packs. Uh, one Stadium Club Retail. Four Tops Chrome Hobby Packs. And three of the Card Obvious Repacks. So yeah, I'm going to try to fill this out. Seems like a, a fun little way to do a random break. You know, add a little chaos into it by... Uh, having random packs and as I accrue more and more packs uh, the randomness will just get wilder and wilder yeah so I think it's a fun little idea let me know what you think uh, about this idea in the description below and like I said it's only six bucks if you want two teams in this break and uh, yep the the link will be in the description below this video so yeah thank you if you stuck around for this one of my longer videos I know a lot of you are used to my quick hitters which are only a minute or two long but you know I figured it was time to do a little bit of longer video kind of just show off some singles that are going into my binder still do a pack rip and announce a group break and my bona fide card hobbyist.com website uh, once again this card hobbyist thank you all for joining me on this uh this journey through this video um remember we grow together we grow the hobby let's support each other support some of them smaller channels that are out there guys uh i realize there's a there's a lot the market is flooded with card collecting videos but if you find somebody you really like that's putting out good content definitely support them give them a shout out um yeah and only worry about what you can you can control and what you can control is your behaviors and your actions so stay positive folks keep ripping them in packs and I will see you later. Peace.